Pethy News cameramen record the last vital moments of the Korean War as a convoy of army vehicles brings United Nations officers to the truce site at Panmunjom for the signing of the armistice. The United States is still officially at war with North Korea, and that is so important to remember because it serves as the backdrop for why we have these tensions today and why it is North Korea has rationalized and justified the construction of nuclear weapons. The U.S. is a signatory to the Armistice Agreement along with the United Nations. And it's interesting, but I often have to remind people that South Korea did not sign that Armistice Agreement. And so the United States would have to be part of any kind of peace treaty or peace agreement that will be signed with North Korea. The conflict with the United States is so central to their ideology, but if they want to move on from this war rhetoric and start focusing on their economy, what Kim Jong-un needs is some sort of declaration. When the leader of North Korea says he supports a nuclear weapons-free Korean Peninsula, he means not only North Korea giving up its nuclear weapons, but the United States also withdrawing its nuclear assets from the region. And that is very tricky because the United States, to be frank, has military assets in the region, not just because of North Korea, but because of other regional and strategic interests, China, for example. United States is not going to give up its weapons, we could be in a protracted standoff. And so one thing that is very key is whether or not the United States and North Korea can get on the same page, get on some sort of roadmap or timeline uh, that will lead to concrete measures toward denuclearization so that they can start talking about peace. <laughs>